Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths, building a complete ship start to finish. And last time we managed to stick some uh, pack secondaries on here, uh, quite nice ones by the looks of it. And uh, yeah, they work pretty well, they're EMP, and we're basically almost done with all the weapon systems that this thing's going to be carrying, which is very, very nice, most important part of the whole damn ship. Um, there's just one last round of weapons to do for now, who knows, you might uh, duct tape some more on here later, and that is simple weapons. So, simple weapons are one of those things that like, um, you really, they're like, they're mostly here, uh, so if you can still play the game and have fun, if you haven't quite gotten the hang of like the more complicated weapon systems yet, but uh, they have some advantages, one of which is that, like, they're small, they're very compact, you can kind of duct tape them anywhere you feel like. And um, we're just gonna have a few of them, so there's a lot to choose from. Uh, for now, uh, and they all pretty much have their own uh, strengths and weaknesses, we're definitely not gonna use things like the Tactical Nuke, because that's only for Suicide Craft. Uh, drills, I hate drills, I have moaned about drills at length. Uh, but, like, uh, what we're gonna go with is some good old World War II style anti-aircraft guns. Uh, we're gonna go with the twin 40 millimeters, uh, just, uh, forward and back, and just for giggles, we're also going to... What can we do? We've got a little hatch here. We're just going to... I don't know, what fits here? Can we stick a casement gun here? We can! We can indeed stick a casement gun here. I for yes, yes, I like that. We're just gonna do that. In fact, I've already started, so uh, we need to go down here and we need to... What do we need to do? We need to... Um, firstly, what I'm gonna do is... What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go here and I'm going to stick this... What is this going to be? I just want to double check what the main APS is uh, attached to. Uh, what's controlling that? This is what is it? What is it? What's, 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 this is the problem with building something over a long period of time. That's connected to main. That's good. It means we can just leave it as is. And again, I'm gonna be kind of lazy and just uh, set the firing restrictions on these things uh, to something like that. And uh, just for giggles, uh, what I'm gonna do is. Uh, what am I going to do? I'm just going to do something like this. Rather, I'm going to just... Hmm. Is that going to work? I'm just going to stick surge protectors right here because these are very vulnerable to EMP surges. So hopefully doing this uh, should insulate them a little bit. Probably won't be perfect. Also, this is just one meter of alloy here. So um, uh, if anything gets shot at, it's probably going to be these guys first. So... Let's just do this. I'm just gonna do that. Like, actually, hold on. Make the shell first. So we can't fit any of the shells in here. These custom shell weapons uh, do have quite strict limits on what shells fit in, and I just need to remind myself what those are. Uh, let's go here. The reason I'm going for these ones, by the way, is because uh, this kind of casemate looks funny. I guess I could sink that down into the. Uh, into the superstructure a little bit, but I'd rather not do that. This is just personal preference, and these guns are mainly going to be here for giggles. Uh, what works well for them? Let's do... Let's just make these hash guns, because that's fun. Uh, let's go here. New built-in shell. And I should name these things, actually. Uh, wait, no, I have, I have named them. Right, so we're here. And 130 millimeters, just checking. And we're gonna name this Custom Shell SW for simple weapons. And, all right, there's the name, Dur. All right, so let's just check. The maximum shell length is 1.3 meters. So let's go here and 1.3 meters. So something like that, perfect. All right, so now we're just going to make this a tandem warhead, so we're gonna put a hash and a heat on here. So this isn't gonna do the main damage by any means, but it is gonna be helpful. So uh, I find with heat penetration metrics, I never remember fully how this metric works, but I do know 
uh, that about 42 uh, penetration metric is what is needed to pierce through a layer of heavy armor. So at least 40 is generally quite good. And that basically is it for that. So we're just going to go there and we're going to copy, paste, and then we're going to copy. And then we're just going to flip that. That's what I should have done last time. And then there we go. We've got some uh, secondary weapons. And I'm going to... Where should I stick that? How many weapon groups do I have? I'm just going to... So that's the... What's this? This is the... What's... Oh, that's the seawards. So that's the light stuff. So I might... I guess I might as well just, just stick these on weapon group 4. Because uh, that's the little guns. We just use them uh, whenever we want to save some materials so let's do that and that's no ah there was supposed to be weapon group five whoops i literally looked at that and then did the wrong thing whoopsie daisy all right so let's do weapon group five and i should hear gunfire Jolly, jolly, jolly good. All right, so let's uh, just test that. Should be just these little guys. And we're gonna uh, chuck these over here. And we're gonna turn the Marauder on God mode so it doesn't die that fast. And we're seeing thump damage come in. And we've got these little casemates just... Uh, being emotional support, so to speak. Why aren't you firing? Hello? Hello? Interesting. This is why combat testing is very useful. Is there any problem for it? Oh, now it fired? What the? Now it did. Maybe it's just... Interesting. Interesting! Let's check here. Okay, well, okay. That's working, I guess. Alright, go away, Marauder. We don't need you anymore. Alright, so that's the casement guns. That took, well, less than 10 minutes, so that's jolly good. Alright, now we're finally gonna fill these holes in the deck. Um, I don't know if anyone was, was uh, being annoyed by that, but I kind of was, so. Yeah, so we're just going to do that. We're going to do that. Like so. Do, 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 do. And fill. And do, 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 do. You know what's really annoying is that um, this armor scheme I'm using here, I have already moved on to a different style of it. Um just in the builds I'm doing for fun, so it's weird coming back to this and seeing like, oh, this is what I'm doing. Alas, this is how the building process works in front of the desk. By the time you're done with something, uh, you already know enough that um, you can do like a much better job where you just start completely over. <sighs> Especially with big stuff. Especially with big stuff. Alright, let's just see here. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we'd like to see. And hopefully, now that the deck is fully filled in, uh, this thing can float a little bit better. Just a little bit. Whoopsie daisy. We went backwards. And let's do that. And also, let's do that as well. Reinforced decking, almost done here. Whoop. How's our price tag? We are sitting pretty at almost 1.3 million materials. That's not expensive. It actually isn't. Like, um, things get way more expensive than this in From the Depths. Okay, let's go here. Let's do that. Whoopsie daisy. All right, let's do that. Let's do this as well. Whoops, that's not what we wanted to do. Alright, so now, let's try and flesh this out in a way that's a little bit more efficient. Oh, that's actually quite convenient. 
quite convenient indeed. Did I do that right? No, I didn't. Right, so now we know that that is what we need. We're going to do this. This and whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, cool. That works out fine. We're all fine here. No one panic. Should probably also up armor uh, this missile compartment because uh, currently not quite enough armor, I say. Oh, hello. Aha. Okay. Interesting. 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 All right. So now we've done that. You might be wondering what that has to do with. Uh, uh, little simple weapons. Well, I don't have a hell of a lot of room in the middle anymore, so we're heading out to the sides. And a cunning thing you can do uh, with little simple weapons is you can uh, sink them down into the hull slightly. So that's very handy. So we're going to have one... We're on the back here, so we're going to have one all the way out here. And we're going to do something... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Whoop, I hit caps lock. Alright, so we're gonna have our little twin 40mm things, and we don't need to set up custom shells for this, so that's convenient. And sinking them one meter in the deck just helps them uh, stay a little bit safer. And we're just gonna do something like that, and we can make that look prettier later. Thankfully, no actual human beings need to operate this thing. And the great thing about this fella... So... One, two, three. Alright, so I have a plan here. I do have a plan, because I actually want this thing to shoot at missiles as well. Because extra sea whiz never hurt anybody, except occasionally the enemy. Okay, so... I'm going to do my questionable surge detector thingy again. Just there, and I have a prefab. So, sparing you uh, seeing things you've already seen before in this series with the setting up of the, uh, of the uh, countermeasures. So, I've got this right here. What is this? So, um, this is something I really should have done on the Sea Wiz beforehand. Uh, but, um, actually I might have. I don't remember. It's been a while. So, we've got three controllers here. Uh, this is kind of expensive because these all-in-one controllers are a little bit pricey. They're like 100 materials each. And so we've got our first one uh, controller. We've got our first local weapon controller here. Oh, hello. We've got our first... This is our first one. So this is priority negative 500. This one controls the thing usually. And we're actually just going to set that uh, to something like this. And just so it doesn't shoot at things it shouldn't. And uh, then we've got our SeaWiz controller. No, no. Over here, we've got our SeaWiz controller. So we're going to ignore outside altitude. We're going to ignore things outside negative 10. And also 300, because that just is helpful. And distance, we're going to shoot at things 1,000 meters away. And this guy doesn't do you a hell of a lot of damage. So we're going to have this fella shoot at small stuff. It helps to have uh, different SeaWiz systems with different preferences. Um, on your craft, simply because that's a... Uh, it means you've got all your bases covered, and different kinds of sea do uh, different jobs, better or worse. And then finally, we have this fella, which has a higher priority than the sea controller, and it shoots enemy craft, which are getting uh, real close. Um, this isn't 100% necessary, because we have a dedicated laser weapon uh, on the front there, uh, which is not a sea controller, so it'll just shoot at anything coming close. And the reason for that is, uh, well, I will spawn in for you, uh, the main reason for that. So let's do that, and I'll just... Well, actually, no, I'll turn God Mode off before saving it. Let's do... Great Talents, ICBM... If you haven't run into these fellas yet, uh, you're in for a treat, because uh, this is literally a nuke. Hold on, let's lock onto you. Can Are we allowed? Are we, hello? There we go. So, suicide craft are a big issue, especially for larger craft. My goodness, why are you doing this? And, um, yeah, if you don't have systems that uh, prioritize them, well, they do things like that. And that is, uh, yeah, that's only 1% of our health taken off. And scratch two particle cannons, so that's a pain in the butt. 
thankfully we have the magic of the debug tool. So that's why if you have a uh, close in weapon defense and um, like you have them shooting at missiles and enemies, you kind of want them to prioritize enemies that get real close or that are approaching really fast. Because that way they shoot down the nukes before they kill you, so important to note. So let's put a little bit of elevation on you because that looks cool. And what else, what else, what else? Let's do 10, 10, flip. And that looks, let's actually make that 20, 20. Let's make that 15, 15. That looks nice. Alrighty, there we go. And I'm just going to slap a an aloe beam right there so it looks all hunky dory now i'm going to prefab this like so do i even have air pumps in this thing i just remembered i have helium pumps oh she's a heavy girl oh i need to change her armor scheme i really do but that comes later so up 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 and boop. so now we have prefab this whole thing and we're going to add a few more hither and thither. So let's put, let's put two of them over here, like so. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, hello. That's a heavy armor compartment. Let's not breach that. Actually, yes, let's breach it. Actually, no, let's not breach that. It does help to know where your stuff is. And one, two, three, and one, two, three, whoopsie. Where am I? Where am I? What is happening? All right. Whoa. No, that's a messy place to put it. Messy, I say. Not good enough. Uh, let's just put this here, I guess. Aha, uh -huh, we've got the stupid staggered stuff. Right, so the important thing is that these guys do something like... What do we want in life? We want something like... Something like this. Did that work? Not quite. Actually made life hard for myself. Don't do what I'm doing. <laughs> I should, really should have just um, prefab this differently. Yikes, that's a mess. Okay, new plan. New plan is do this tidy. Do this tidy. Dang it. So I'm gonna change this. It's gonna be three like so. tunnel in here, just to make life convenient, and if I go here, it should look something like that. Why does it not look like that? Because you didn't uh, prefab the other thing, Yafu, there we go, there we go. That's what we want in life. Yes, 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 yes. Do we have? We have. Good, good, good. And we're just going to copy this fella. We're not really going to use exactly the same settings. But it'll be close enough for new. So we're just going to, let's see, max azimuth, new. We want to keep that as is. Minimum azimuth goes like 100. 
No. Fifteen. There we go. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna completely remove uh, the fire res uh, restrictions on these guys, and we'll see what happens. Because even if they friendly fire us, um, what the? No, don't want that. Um, even if they friendly fire us, they won't do enough damage uh, to us to be a problem. Um, actually, no. I will do. I will do this because I don't want them aiming straight backwards. I'm changing my mind a lot. We're also gonna put a jaunty little angle on these guys. We're gonna put 30 degrees and negative 30 right here. Whew, I'm hot. It's hot work building stuff. Alright, so, and I'm just gonna put these guys, um, just remembered, I need to change the uh, receivers on these guys uh, to the seawards, which I believe is... That's missiles and tools. We want channel four. Lieutenant Dukami has taken the wheel. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you've got to remember to do things ahead of time. Uh, because if you forget, well, then you feel slightly silly. Just a little bit. Just a little bit silly. There we go. This is not the sexiest content in the world. But that's okay. It's part of the process. And now I will prefab this so I don't feel so silly again. Alright, so good, 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 good. So that's uh, the little uh, secondary guns on the back. Uh, American World War II battleship style. And now we do something similar on the front. And I believe the block setup is slightly different here. Um, I do want that APS to fire forwards though. So I'm just going to... I'm going to just stick two of them. Uh, what's here? I don't want to make a complete hash of things. Let's stick them over... All the way over here. Off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Because, 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 because... Because of the wonderful things he does. Alright, good, 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 good. And... Did that make a mess of things? Yes, it did. That's the untidy bit. I don't want the untidy bit. I want the slightly more tidy bit. And... Could go over here, but I don't want to. So I'm just not going to. G3. Is this all untidy? Ah, this is why I prefer using... Um, 4 meter beams just, like, literally... All over the place. Because if you don't do that, things get messy. Not like the soccer player either. I just know that name. I have no idea who the dude is. Don't at me. I don't do sports, as you can probably tell from the kind of video games I play. Alright, let's do that. Is that in the right place? Yes, it is. It's a little complicated thing, like so. Is that connected? Yes, it is. Uh, Lieutenant Akami, let's turn you on. Hehehe. <laughs> I want to turn you on. Alright, and simple weapons. I'm going to point these fellas straight forward. And we don't want that. We want the opposite. So, 180 minus 15 is 65. So, there we go. Flip. And flip. There we go. So, now we just have a little bit of ack ack. A little bit of... Uh, Triple A, and I'm just gonna put some uh, put some elevation and azimuth on this just for giggles. Idle elevation is 10. Idle azim azimuth will be 12. And whoops, let's go here. 10, 12, and again should have done this before. This will be 12 negative and 10, and this will be. Uh, 12 and 10. Beautiful! Beautiful! She's looking quite battleshipy. And now let's just check that our ack ack is working as intended by spawning in just a huge ass swarm of flying squirrels. And turn god mode back on. And there we go, we've got ack ack going. We've got our little sea whiz there, which have trackers on them, so that's convenient. 
So these guys are gonna do a little burst and then reload. They're struggling a little bit by the looks of it. But they are providing emotional support. We're clipping the tail feathers of the occasional squirrel. Okay. Squirrels are hard. Squirrels you need lasers for. Let's try that against dusters and let's see how that well that goes. Dusters are pretty easy. These guys are underwater. Let's see how these guys are doing. Oh, look at that. We're clobbering the occasional uh, missile. There we go. That's some basic, some basic AA. Very basic. Mostly there for giggles, because that's fun. Yay! Right, let's finish this off by turning on all of the things. I should really uh, change the settings on uh, those missiles so they're not wasted on dusters. Wow, look at all the weapons on this thing. This thing's quite heavily armed. It's got everything on it. My goodness. <laughs> Overkill much? Alright, jolly, jolly, jolly good. We have some uh, little... We have some... We Well, we have even more uh, in the way of guns. And that just about does it for the weapons on this thing. That's like... How many was that? So, let's go... How many was that? That was... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine uh, episodes just to the weapons of this thing. So, I reckon this thing is packing a decent amount of punch. Uh, not the most. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality too. And also size. Bigger is often better. So. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Support me on Patreon. Use your membership if you like. It really helps and there's fun perks in it for you. Thank you to all my current supporters and I will see you next time in From the Depths. Farewell.